With the release of the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition and the Xbox Series S, the all digital future seems to be closing in slowly, and this begs the question, which video game format is better, physical or digital? Well today, I hope to answer that question. To do this, I've thought of several different pros and cons to both physical and digital video games. So let's begin. Let's start with price drops. When a game releases, it will be released at full price most of the time. Then when sales start to calm down, the price of the game drops, but this happens at different times for physical and digital games. Within a year, I've seen physical games drop to either half price or a third of the original price. Not bad, right? Now, in terms of digital games, they take a lot longer to go down in price. They'll stay at their original retail price for a long time. However, digital games get more frequent discount sales. Granted, this is usually only a small discount if the game is still new. But, once the game ages a couple or few years, they can go down to a fifth of the original price, from what I've seen on console digital stores. And if you're on Steam, you know how good those sales are. Another factor of physical is finding bargains in places like yard sales or charity shops. If you're lucky, you can find some real deals in there if people don't know the value of their games. Now, when it comes to playing your games, physical and digital have their pros and cons each. With physical games, you can just insert the disc and play. That is on systems older than 7th generation consoles. When it comes to the 7th generation of consoles and onwards, updates in digital games became a reality. Digital updates on the PS3 and Xbox 360 aren't too bad since they're small in file size. But then we hit the 8th and 9th generation of consoles and oh my god, this is where updates become painful. Inserting the disc will install the game quite fast, but then downloading and installing a game directly from a server can be a long time if you don't have good internet speed. Sure, if there's updates for the game, disc or digital, you must download them. But digital means fully installing the game, what would be on the disc, and updates. One last thing about digital, although you must completely install the game, you do get instant access to the game you bought, meaning you don't have to wait for the game to arrive in the mail, or go out to buy, or click and collect it from a store yourself. Speaking of buying physical games from a store, one advantage that physical has over digital by default is the fact that you can trade them into a second hand store or sell them on eBay. With digital, you buy them and can't return them. Yes, you can get a refund for a game on Steam if you played it for less than 2 hours or had it less than 14 days and not played it, but that's not trading in. To be fair, one advantage digital has here is the fact that you know your game will work if it's programmed correctly, of course. Buying second hand is sometimes risky since it could be from somebody who is not taking care of the game. For example, I remember getting a used copy of Shadow the Hedgehog for the PS2 years ago as a kid, and the disc was in such bad condition that when I got to level 4, the stage didn't load most of the floor after a few seconds, and the music wasn't playing, so I couldn't go on any further. Another problem is the game can just stop working completely after many years even when taken care of. However, this is more of a problem with old cartridges than discs if taken care of. About old games, storing games. Storing games physically and digitally have their own problems. Storing them physically means you must put them somewhere, which can lead to damage if not stored in a good designated space. If you're a collector, that isn't too much of a problem, since you'll make space for them. Unless you mean buy too many games with the amount of space you have. When it comes to digital, storing them isn't a problem physically since you just download them when you want. However, hard drive space and solid state drive space is sometimes a problem since games can be a large in file size. I think you know what game I'm talking about there. Back to an advantage both game formats have is sharing. Sharing a game physically is easy, obviously because it's as simple as handing it to a friend or family member. And digital does have game sharing features with a friend, so both have that feature already. Another factor of games like taking care of games as I mentioned earlier is losing them. You can just straight up lose your games. It's much easier to lose them physically than digitally though. Game Boy, DS, 3DS and Switch cartridges are easier to lose since they're small, especially Switch cartridges. When it comes to losing digitally, you can lose them if you lose your account, which shouldn't be too much of a problem if you save your password somewhere. Another problem with digital is more of a future-proof thing. Yes, physical games will eventually stop working or disintegrate, but it'll be a long time before that if they're taken care of. Digitally, however, can have bigger issues in due time. For example, with the PS3, PS4 and PS5, there is a CMOS battery in your system which is responsible for being able to play your digital games, because the battery holds your current local time. The purpose of this is to make sure you can't play digital games before release date. This shows a problem though. When that battery dies and if you can't connect to the PSN to verify your current time, you won't be able to play any digital games at all. Now for PS3 this is just for digital games, so your discs will still work. 
However, on PS4 and PS5, it's for most disc games now. Now, this is a worst case scenario here, so it's nothing to worry about right now, and Sony is looking into the issue on how to fix it, so that's good. Another point here is the fact that digital games are licenses to play them, so if your license is revoked, then you can't play them. However, I don't see that happening at all either. PS4 disc games are also just licenses now, but again, this is thinking the absolute worst when there's still plenty of time for this issue to be rectified. Next up, and one of the best things about digital, in my opinion, is it makes selling games much more accessible to indie developers. Seeing as making lots of physical copy of games is expensive, and indie games won't need a 50GB Blu-ray disc to fit their games on, it's a much better and cheaper option to put it up on Steam or console digital store up for a smaller than retail price. Another perk of digital is eliminating rarity of games. For example, Gravity Rush Remastered, fantastic game by the way, is a moderately rare physical game and costs more than retail price. Whereas on digital stores, it's easy to find and it's only £24.99 I think? Plus it goes down to around £8 on sales. One last thing digital has is Xbox Game Pass. The value of that is crazy because of the amount of games you get for the price of it per month. One last thing about physical is collector's editions. This isn't particularly an advantage, but you can get some cool stuff in there that digital just can't offer. Digitally usually adds some DLC, an art book, and a digital soundtrack. Physical games have music and art in the form of a CD and physical art book, but one thing physical has over digital are statues and figures. Sure these make these editions more expensive, but they are a nice display piece for fans of the corresponding game. Overall, it's difficult to point at one video game format and say which is definitively better. Both clearly have their pros and cons. As a collector, I'm always going to love physical, but digital is much more convenient, providing you have a good internet speed and hard drive space. You can simply boot up your system and play a game, if it's up to date. Well, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, let's have a friendly conversation. That's all for today everyone, thank you so much for watching and listening, I'll see you later, goodbye.